Hey guys, welcome to part two of the smoker rotisserie grill restoration. Uh, in this part, you're going to see uh, the painting process and getting it ready for a burn in and all that good stuff. Um, later on in the video, I do do a burn in, uh, just kind of give you a heads up. I couldn't wait. Uh, I got more mods that I'm going to add to it, but I just couldn't wait to have it uh, burned in. So I got it all seasoned up all sprayed in, everything in there, uh, the rotisserie, the rod, the grate, uh, the heat reduction plate, or the diffuser plate I should say, uh, that way it goes in the back, the fire can go down, go over, then up, but yeah, this is part two of the smoker rotisserie, uh, I'm going to be doing a video on this one here shortly, my Dynaclo, I'll explain all that later on, but yeah, this is part two. And there's really not much else to explain other than the stills and the uh, few video clips I get on there. My boy helping me paint. And like I explained in the video, we got 1200 degree paint, and that'll work perfect. It'll work just fine for what's going on. And yeah, so I got probably one more part. Uh, some mods. I got a shelf that I want to do, and uh, a door for the firebox. For the, not the firebox, but a door for the fire that I can easily access instead of taking the grate out. I can just open up the door and boom, there it is right there. So there's a few more mods left. Eventually, like I said, I want to add uh, a couple of stacks to the end. I want to put it on the trailer so I can take it, mobilize it, get it to whatever party there is. So other than that, and away we go. Well, I decided to get it off the ground because I was sick and tired of bending over. Plus, I wanted to cook where it was easy. So, I decided to build some legs out of 4x4. Came out pretty good, too. About a foot and a half or so off the ground. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some blocks on top of this stand right here so it gets the pit off of the legs. Also, painted them with 1200 degree uh, temp paint, uh, which worked perfectly. Got it all taken care of. As you can see here, my boy, Timmy, is painting the uh, underside of the pit right now. Like I said, he wanted to be my helper and decided why not. Can't hurt anything, so go for it, paint away. But yeah, the paint came out great. Uh, nice even strokes. Everything's taken care of. And it's looking really, really good. finished product of it all painted uh, blended in nicely uh, no issues whatsoever like I said it didn't have any holes to begin with so that helped out with the wire wheel and the power washing and hand sanding it it all came out great afterwards um, leaving those legs on because like I said it looks like a gunner uh, so I decided hey why not Looks like it's going to shoot something out, so let's leave them on. But the final product of the paint came out great. Uh, I, I couldn't be more happier. Uh, every, like I said, everything's blended good. Looks great. No missed spots. 1,200 degree temp. That's plenty uh, for what I'm going to be doing for this thing. And I can't wait to start cooking on it. I'm not done with all the mods I want to do to it, but I couldn't take it anymore. She is all seasoned up. I added a handle to it, and I got to add a couple little things to that handle, but for now it's there. Got my vents wide open. Temperature in there is rising pretty good. It's at 262 and going up. There's my vent for the other side. Still going to go through the motor for the rotisserie. Check that out. See if it's going to work. If not, I'll get a new one. But 
she's in there burning away and that's reading about right too that one's saying about 260 outside about 260 265 inside so yeah it's working good everything is all seasoned up though added chains so this doesn't come apart but she's going to be ready to cook soon and I might add a gasket around that door. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. I got some lava lock, so I might put something in there. But, oh, yeah. I mean, look, the seasoning's coming out. Like I said, I got to go through that motor. Might get a new one if the old one's not working. Let that burn for a little bit, season up. Well guys, that's it for part two. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, uh, all that. Like I said, YouTube shindig there. Uh, it'll help me out. It'll spoil me. Leave some comments in the section below if I see that I could be doing something different or better. Because like I said, I'm learning. Trying to get this. Technology-wise, I'm okay, but trying to edit videos and get them going and get them on here. That I'm still trying to figure out and work around and everything. So... Yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, and help me out in the comments. If you're going to be rude or anything like that, bye-bye to the comments. I ain't got time for that. There's enough going on in this crazy world right now. I haven't got time for that. So I appreciate all the help I can get. Uh, apologize for the sun and anything. Uh, up here in Maine right now, it's probably pushing 90 close to it. Humidity is way up into us. That's nah, hot. We're not made for this kind of weather. Yes, we get it. We get it every year, but we're we're a fall winter state, unfortunately. So we're not built for this heat humidity. But yeah, uh, like I said, hope you enjoy. There's one more part to this one, and uh, then I'll show you. What, I'll tell you what I named it in the next video because you got a name. It's just the way it is. If you barbecue, you got to name the grills, or your smokers, or your rotisseries, or whatever it is. And if you don't, eh. I do. So, yeah, I'll be doing one on this one soon. I'm down to go. Uh, not much into Oklahoma Joe's, but I'll explain later on. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe.